So hi, hello and welcome again, Micro Punter here. A few days ago, I visited a local pond uh, to collect a water sample for microscopy. Yeah, and uh, of course, uh, one of the problems uh, when collecting pond water is, is that even though there are many interesting microorganisms present, also algae, many bacteria, also ciliates, paramecia and so on, water fleas a lot, um, generally they are at a fairly low concentration present. Well at least, uh, in my opinion, too low to be interesting for microscopic observation. So what you have to do is, is you have to uh, enrich them, you have to grow them, you have to breed them uh, to a very high concentration so that they're more interesting to observe under the microscope. And this is what I have done, and I would like to show you um, how you can do that yourself. Well, the water sample that I collected um, a few days ago um, I, uh, from a pond, uh, I collected especially not only the water, Water, but also some sediment from the bottom of the pond and for this reason I took a little bit of water out of the pond and poured it back in to agitate uh, the ground and then when I collected the pond water um, yeah then um, I took it home and uh, I put um, a small sample of it into a separate jar and uh, then maybe you can see that um, there is this slimy stuff here on the side here and that is uh, some of the food that I added uh, to enrich some of the microorganisms. I want to show you what I have done. Uh, if you want to grow those microbes yourself, what you need is you need two spoons and I've got a wheat grain. Yeah, cereal grain, so to say, in here. And what you do is, is you just uh, crush the wheat grain between two spoons, just like this. And up, you have to press. Uh, and then what you do is, is you take this crushed wheat grain and you simply drop it into, um, into the water like this, um, and then you have to wait uh, for approximately one week. And then um, after one week, look, um, it will look quite uh, quite slimy and 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 uh, actually quite disgusting um, and this is a sign that uh, many microorganisms started to grow you got to be a little bit careful every time when you add food to a water sample and when you're enriching the microorganisms you don't really know which microorganisms you're growing there are many bacteria in there um, yeah unknown bacteria maybe some of them are pathogenic disease causing um, yeah maybe not we don't know so you always have to be a little bit uh, careful and you have to play it safe so what i'm going to therefore do is, is i'm going to uh, first of all um, take uh, uh, some tweezers and i'm going to put uh, um, a small sample of uh, this uh, yeah wheat grain on a microscope slide yes yeah, so let's take out this one over here carefully oh, look at this huh. And you simply dip it on the microscope slide. Yeah, you need a very small sample. You put the rest back. Yeah, the, the problem is now that uh, there are uh, plenty of bacteria still on the tip of, of this uh, tweezer here. Um, and uh, when I hurt myself accidentally, then of course there's the danger um, of me yeah, be, being infected. And then, uh, yeah, that's not, not a good thing. So I've got um, a small uh, jar with uh, alcohol over here uh, where I'm just going to rinse uh, the tip here. And then um, I'm going to simply burn off uh, the rest. I've got over here, yeah, um, you, let's move this uh, to the side here for safety reasons. But I've got a, yeah, a lighter here. Yeah, and all you have to do is, is you simply have to yeah, burn off uh, the alcohol and now everything's uh, perfectly safe again and uh, it's sterile. So what about the slide over here? And all I have to do is, is I have to drop a cover glass right on top of this uh, yeah, specimen here and now everything can go under the microscope. Let's see here what we're able to find. Yeah, here we go. Look, uh, plenty <laughs> of life here. Uh, what we're able to see are those uh, somewhat smaller ciliates and here um, these are actually paramecia uh, over here. Uh, they're not moving because they're <laughs> compressed between the cover glass and the microscope slide. Um, yeah, so it's uh, quite a tight space here. But uh, actually that's good because uh, now we are able to look um, into the cell and much better. So let's go up a little bit with the magnification. Yeah, we're now looking at the cell at uh, with the 40 times magnifying objective. Yeah, plenty of cell organelles visible in here. Uh, we can see those a lot of bacteria also on the outside here, those rod-shaped structures, all bacteria. And over here, let's have a look at this one over here. Uh, the, uh, these are yeah uh, vacuoles. 
uh, that contain either food and some of them uh, might also be, uh, yeah, there should be also two contractile vacuoles visible which are pumping out water. Um, yeah, let's see if uh, one of them is going to collapse uh, after a couple of seconds or not. Uh, but uh, I think uh, this cell over here uh, is probably not uh, quite as happy. Look what's happening over here uh, on the outside here. Do you see those little, uh, yeah round structures this cell is now in the process of being squeezed uh, to death uh, yeah so the pressure of the cover glass is too high so what happens now is is that the cytoplasm starts to spill out uh, um, of the cell yeah but actually look this actually seems to be one of the contractile vacuoles um, which is there for pumping out water uh, being also pressed apart so this cell is not happy um, and is now basically not going to survive for very long uh, but you can still see that uh, there are still um, yeah a, a little bit of uh, movement going on here so some of the cilia the little here are st still working, uh, but this is, I think, uh, going to stop uh, quite soon. So what I'm going to do now is we're just going to wait a couple of uh, more minutes and see um, yeah, how the situation develops here with uh, this cell. Generally, um, if you compress a cell between the uh, microscope uh, slide and cover glass, this does have the advantages that you're really limiting its movement um, and you're also making it easier to look into the cell. Um, that's why we're able to see all of those uh, tiny cell organs organelles in there um, but of course this also means that the cell uh, becomes a little bit deformed uh, and uh, sooner or later this is not going to be sustainable for the cell and the cell will uh, will actually die you can see now that the cytoplasm now uh, yeah, starts to exit the cell more and more um, and uh, this is actually a sign that the integrity of the cell um, yeah, is uh, destroyed now. Um, th those paramecia that you see over here, they do not have a cell wall. So this means uh, that they're not very strong. They're quite flexible, uh, but the outside is not very strong. And this actually um, yeah, allows the cell to pop open um, if there is too much pressure. Yeah, and as a matter of fact, those large circles that you see over here are indeed the two contractile vacuoles which are being pressed apart now because of the pressure um, um, of uh, the cover glass yeah so this is basically what we're wit witnessing here is this is the end of a cell um, and the much smaller bacteria that you see floating around here oh, they, they don't mind they're just doing fine because they're significantly smaller and they're not uh, inhibited in their movement um, by the yeah the tight space uh, that yeah, on the microscope slide. Yeah, and now at a very high magnification, look, uh, the cell membrane now really did rupture, spilling out the cell's contents. But look at all of these uh, tiny little moving dots that you see over here. Yeah, they seem to be bacteria indeed. And uh, they're now using the cell, the paramecium over here, as a food source. So they are attracted now by the cell's contents that spills out. And that is, uh, seems to be quite nutritious uh, for those bacteria here as well. Yeah? Um, and uh, they are now starting to gather around the cell um, yeah, and starting to consume it. Yeah? So you see in nature everything is being recycled again and uh, used again. Nothing is wasted. Yeah, I just wanted to show this to you a little bit, uh, also to illustrate how you're able to grow um, and how you're able to enrich uh, those ciliates yourself. However, I do want to warn you again that every time when you're adding some food to a water sample, you're growing bacteria and other microorganisms to very high concentrations you might want to be a little bit careful and just uh, observe the basic rules of hygienics and uh, make sure that you always disinfect uh, the tools that you're using because you do not want any of these bacteria um, yeah, to actually cause any problems. I'm going to leave it at that. I hope uh, that uh, this video was uh, informative for you and interesting. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always. See you around next time. Bye-bye.